What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba and Marine and get my full face mask cleaned up here. And I actually had three students in the pool last night learning how to use a full face mask. And one of the reoccurring themes was, or what, one of the things that we kind of focus on is flooding and clearing that full face mask. Because obviously with a regulator and mask system built together, when you flood it, not only are you not going to be able to see, but you're also not going to be able to breathe. Now with a traditional reg set, if you was to flood your traditional mask, then obviously you can still breathe. But with a full face mask, we don't have that uh, same ability to breathe because obviously it's a built-in system and if the chamber floods or if the oral uh, area floods then you're not going to be able to breathe from it. But one thing that you'll learn throughout your full face mask class is it's very very difficult to actually flood one of these and it's about the only way you can do it is actually to take the mask completely off and then it'll flood. Now this is a non-positive pressure mask. This is a simply a demand valve system. Basically the way a demand valve works in a standard second stage, you're going to have a diaphragm here on the front, you're going to have a demand lever here behind, and then you're going to have your demand valve. And so when you inhale on the, the diaphragm, it's going to press in on the demand lever, which is going to open up the demand valve, and it's going to give you air. And that's why we call it a demand valve system. You demand it to give you air basically by breathing. And this full face mask works the exact same way. The second stage is virtually identical. You've got a diaphragm with a demand lever behind it, and then of course you got your demand valve which allows that air to come in. Now sometimes with full face masks they're going to be positive pressure. That means they're going to constantly free flow if you will or in a sense free flow and it's going to constantly give you air even when you're not going to be breathing. Now so in general though we're going to use demand valve systems. Now with demand valve systems that means we run that risk of that mass flooding whether we dislodge the top, dislodge the bottom, or even if we make the mistake and leave our uh, surface air valve open they can kind of flood in and let water into the mass. However when that occurs with one of these systems especially on the ocean reef system we go from a demand system over to a positive pressure system and it's actually very very difficult to flood a full face mask unless you take the mask off. So last night in the pool three of the skills that we taught our students is the first one of course is we make them open their surface air valve under the water and that way even no matter the depth when they take a breath a little bit of water is going to trickle in but it's not going to be enough that they can't really breathe and Every time they exhale, that water is going to simply just purge out of the mass. So they're still going to get a full breath. They're still going to be able to exhale without any type of obstruction. And then we simply have them shut the, the surface air valve down. And, of course, they exhale out through it. The next skill that we teach them, of course, is how to flood it from the top. Now, this is virtually impossible to do because even though it's not a positive pressure mask, when you open it up, you're going to create differential pressure, which is going to allow that air to actually free flow through. And there's going to be more suction, if you will, or more pressure pulling that air out. So it's actually going to pull the diaphragm in, press on the demand lever, that demand lever is going to open that valve, and at that point you do have a positive pressure mask. Now the pressure is going to be so great that you're actually not going to let any water in, of course, until you're out of air. To fix the problem you simply reseat the mask, tighten it back down, and then when you exhale any water that happened to trickle in is actually going to flow back out or purge out. And then the last thing that we teach them, of course, is, is how to dislodge from the bottom. Now, the reason we teach it at, there at the last is because it's going to be that next segue into how to remove and replace the mass. So we actually have them dislodge, which is actually going to allow that water level to come up, but it usually comes up no further than about halfway up through the oral part of the mass. And as soon as you reseat it and exhale, you're going to be able to take a normal breath without any water coming in. Now, let's say that during these processes, you're exhaling the whole time and you don't have enough air or you need to take a breath, but there's still water in the mask. Well, the cool thing about a full face mask is you simply hit the purge and it's going to purge all that water out. So these guys, they're very, very safe to use if you practice them with them. Uh, they are virtually impossible to flood. Now, I'm not saying you can't flood them. Obviously, if you take the mask off, it's going to flood. But if it just becomes dislodged or something like that, it's not going to flood enough that it's going to stop your breathing. All you've got to do is just reseat it, tighten it back down, and then breathe normal. But guys, if you got any questions on full face masks, please put it down in the comment section below. We actually teach quite a few full face mask students throughout the year, whether they're public safety students or they're just open water divers. The three that I had last night are relatively new divers. They're all less than 10 dives a piece. Um, and they done fine. They, they enjoyed their time underwater. They enjoyed swimming around. 
around. We even let them do underwater communications, both with the comm port, and we also taught them how to talk full face mask to full face mask as well, and they had a great time doing it. But guys, once again, if you got any questions on full face mask, please put it down in the comment section below, and I'll try to answer it the best I can. If you like this video, do me two favors. Definitely share it, and definitely smash that like button for me. Guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.